Hi again, Press Sign fans. Thanks for watching. This time I'm going to just show you the second of these options where it says that we can now in Press Sign 12 export color lists from the single patch panel. So keep on watching and I'll show you this very quickly. Uh, the single patch panel is the button that's just up here. I'll try and highlight it for you. So just in there, we have the single patches button. So if you click on that, that will open up the single patch menu. Uh, it has its own tabs as well. So I'm just looking at the lab density tab now, which gives us this lovely um, color wheel. But on the right hand side in this area here, we have a whole list of um, colors that have been measured in the job and for quite some time we've wanted to be able to export those colors to save them somehow so we've actually built that functionality in now just before we do that if you don't know this panel you can go in with your cursor and double click on any one of the colors so if I double click on this 50k it gives you the measured value and the relative target value based upon the target that we're using and the delta E and of course you've got other options here about whether you're wanting to look at the data in a delta E 2000 or an EAB or just let it go for automatic if you use automatic it is based upon uh, the target settings in that target just there. Without any further ado, let's just double click magenta as an example so you can see that it says magenta, we're using delta E 2000 and there's a delta E of 2.97 from the target standard. So that's all kind of uh, in there as well. However, the new functionality is the ability right down in the bottom corner there that actually says export. Now what we can do is if I click on that export button it will show us the place that we can save the file. We can save it anywhere we like on the computer uh, and it's got a name. We can rename it as we wish and we can save it as a CXF file format and that's certainly what I would recommend that we do. You can save it as a text file and I believe you can save it also as a PDF, but CXF is the one that would be used by professional color management software where you want to import the color data into another program, for instance, is likely to be that. So then we'd be able to hit the CXF and the save file. So I'd be able to save that. So this is my export CXF and let me just show you what application let me just choose an application so i've just exported that into uh, bb edit as you can just see at the top of the screen just up here uh, that's one of my favorite text tools and you can see all the color data within the file just in here so that is really what i wanted to just show you there so it's all about that export button right in the bottom corner just down there and that's what that will allow you to do. I hope that was of use for you and thanks for watching. If you need to know anything more about Press Sign, get in contact with me, leave a comment if you want to and I will always make a video if there's something that we need to cover or you can simply ask me uh, through the comment section on this YouTube video. So thanks for watching and I look forward to helping you in the near future. Bye for now.